Hello, hello. So we're going to be doing a pick a card reading today. This one's going to be a little bit different than the ones that you normally see because you won't be seeing the cards. So this is one that you're just going to be feeling, all right, and connecting to using your intuition. So we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. Go ahead and choose your number. Meditate on the number. Meditate on the questions that you want answered. Meditate on the person you have in mind. All right. And we'll begin shortly. All right, pile one. Here we go. Let's get right into it. So the card from the Angels and Ancestors deck that you got was the Oracle. And it says to wait for important information. Her eyes are closed. So she's feeling it. She's tapping into her intuition. Just like I mentioned at the beginning of this reading. In regards to this reading, you're going to have to feel it. So I feel like some of you are waiting for something. I mean, obviously, wait for important information. But then we got the Six of Cups from the traditional tarot. And from my index cards, we got Hold the Vibe. So this is something about holding on to the good memories, holding on to what's left. But I also feel like in this period of you waiting for this person to reach out to you, maybe waiting to get news about some sort of move happening, maybe waiting for news about your children if you have any. It's like in this period of waiting, make sure you're having fun. Like I'm seeing somebody just wait by the phone. I'm seeing somebody just wait by the door. And it's like your family needs you is what I'm seeing. And while you're out there, enjoying yourself hold on to that vibe hold on to this vision of whatever it is you're waiting for but also remain present with those around you but i do feel like there's something coming back from the past or someone that you've been holding on to, you've been keeping the faith that this person is going to be reaching out. And I see them reaching out. But you have to do your part. I'm hearing get out into nature. I'm seeing go buy yourself flowers as well. This could be someone from your past that used to buy you flowers, or maybe it's something that you wanted from this person. I'm seeing go do it for yourself. Go take yourself out. Go have fun with your children as well. All right. So I am going to read the oracle for you all. Let's see what the oracle has to tell you. Be open and receptive to information. Gather facts so you can make a decision that is in line with your integrity. The Oracle is a truth speaker, an insight bringer of this deck, the ancestor who will be your best outspoken girlfriend, someone who will tell you exactly what you need to hear to move forward. In this deck, she is reminiscent of the Oracle Delphi, a psychic priestess of ancient Greece who is able to receive information and make predictions. She holds a bowl that has a sacred smoke rising out of it, bringing the message to look beyond all that you can see and gather information in order to make an accurate evaluation of your situation. Angels, ancestors, and the universe are speaking to you at this time. So look and listen for important conversations, signs, and messages that will point you in the right direction. You're being guided to wait 
for more information before making any fast moves. Because at this moment, you're letting your wants get in the way of your needs. There's an opportunity for you to see everything clearly at this time, but you will only be able to do so if you're willing to truly open your eyes. If you have been waiting for further information about a choice you have to make or action you have to take, don't take matters into your own hands, but let what needs to be revealed, revealed. Then you'll know what to do next. Angels are supporting you. Trust them. I just heard wait for me. So somebody may be wanting you to wait for them. Maybe you're wanting somebody to wait for you. I am getting this energy of waiting, but not waiting in vain. All right. I trust this resonated with whoever this message is for. We're going to be moving on to pile two now. All right. Make sure you hit that like button. Pile two. All right, pile two. Let's get started. So pile two. <clears throat> the angel and ancestor card that we have for you is hermit. Traditional tarot card we have for you is the nine of swords. And my handwritten index cards, we got cancer. So you could be a Cancer. I'm also seeing your moon could be in Cancer. Very nurturing. Possibly feeling a little moody right now. Very driven, courageous, and strong. I am seeing somebody could be feeling moody. Like I'm picking up on cabin fever here. Cabin fever. Like in this period of finding solitude... Like, I feel like it's possibly just not working. It's, it's, I feel like it's doing more harm than good for you, Pile 2. I'm hearing get out there. Because you have this energy of being really nurturing. And I'm seeing not just for self, but for others. There's something or somebody around you that needs to be nurtured. And I feel like... At the same time as you doing this, you're going to be nurturing yourself. All right, so we have retreat and recharge. So you felt this energy that you've been needing to just retreat to recharge your energies. But with this nine of swords here, it's like even within the retreat, it's like there's no calmness. There's still anxiety. Still panic, still losing sleep. Someone here, somebody's seeing that it's a personal issue. It's not the world around them. It's something internal that needs to be shifted. I feel like someone here in Pile 2 has trouble meditating as well. Like, I'm seeing somebody try to meditate and and outdated beliefs or thought patterns start to creep in. And beings that we got this cancer card, which represents the chariot, I'm seeing a long car ride would also help for you. Like I know for me, like a car ride, even if it's just up the road to the gas station with the music on and the windows down, like it hits different. It hits different. You know, than when you're just playing music at home, it's different, the vibe. So I'm seeing go for a car ride, go maybe I'm getting, I'm picking up on going out in nature again. That's what I picked up on the pile one as well. I'm getting like a lot of sitting and waiting energy, waiting for answers. 
But the answers I'm hearing for you, Pile 2, aren't found in solitude. In isolation, I feel like you're a people person. And maybe you're trying to do it how others are doing it. Or what's trending now, what everybody's talking about, how you heal. I don't see you being the type that heals alone. I see you being the type that heals within your community, within some sort of soul tribe. Maybe even um, going on some sort of retreat. Maybe you're opening up some sort of retreat. Maybe this has been thoughts that has been lingering. And I'm seeing do it. I'm seeing do it. I am going to read your angel and ancestor card. All right. Hermit, Virgo energy. So we have Cancer Virgo energy here. I feel like uh, Mercury and retrograde and whatever. I think the moon phase was in Cancer. Wow. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, if it's still not here today, it was yesterday. So there's big energies about Mercury and the moon. The moon is in Cancer. The moon is mother energy. There's a lot of masculine energy here, though. But mothering, nurturing. Maybe there's a masculine around you, or maybe you're the masculine, but there's a masculine energy here that needs nurturing, needs community all right well let's see what the hermit has to say take time to rest and recuperate in order to continue your growth benefit from the information that will come directly from your heart space okay i have to stop right there because it's like somebody is not getting information from their heart space. They're getting information by their mind. It's like their mind is leading, but their mind is scattered. I'm hearing scatter brain. Okay, anyways, the hermit card is one of solitude and meditation. It represents your capacity to go within and arrive at the cave of your heart. Many of the answers to your problems lie within Yes. And if you don't take the time to connect with yourself and feel comfortable alone, you won't be able to hear the messages that are rising up inside of you. The cross-legged meditation pose of the cave dweller, Sadhu, on this card is an invitation to harness the power of your meditation practice. The Sri Yantra symbol behind him represents the union of the masculine and feminine energies, hence support from mother, father, God. You have been working hard and giving your all to your current situation, and it may be and it may become draining and detrimental to your development unless you retreat and recharge your energies. So you're being guided to take a step back at this time. If you're working on bringing something together, your over-involvement could impede the process. So retreat and breathe. If you have something to say or do that could have a large impact on your life, spend some time in deep thought, even contemplation before moving forward. Often we rush in. We don't see how destructive our actions can be. So, so meditate and listen to your soul's wisdom before proceeding further. All right, my bad. My baby just woke up. So pile two, now that I read that hermit card, I'm also feeling like some of you have felt the need to retreat to recharge, to really nurture self. And maybe you're so used to, to taking care of others. So this could be a second story, all right? 
but maybe you're so used to taking care of others. And now that you have this call to really take care of self, it's like you really don't know how to handle it or you're not used to, to catering to your needs. But I'm also feeling like it's needs of divine. Because maybe you feel like you need to be around this person or these people. I know it's a totally different story from the first, but this is what I'm getting. So really nurture self. And it's going to take a lot of your willpower to do so. All right. Make sure you hit that like button. Moving on to pile three. Pile three. All right, let's get to you. So pile three, we ended up getting two cards from the Angels and Ancestors deck. Shield Maiden, make plans and focus, came up in reverse, so I left it that way. But what came up upright was the Shaolin Master, be graceful in movement and action. So... What I'm picking up on that is it's like you're ready. You're ready to charge. You're ready to go after what it is you're seeking. But then you had a change of heart. Calling you to take it slow. Calling you to be more graceful. I feel like for you, Pile 2, you're healing your divine masculine energies. And this could be a feminine that I'm speaking to as well. Well, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm picking up on both. But for the feminines, you could have really been in your <clears throat> masculine energies here. Maybe you had to take on both roles in your household or maybe even in career. But I am getting this balance happening. <clears throat> All right, so the tarot card you got was three of swords and the end the index card my handwritten deck you got narc and rat so that was really interesting so what i'm picking up on here as well it's like you could have found something out this could have been some sort of third party situation maybe even some sort of backstabbing happening. I just heard you also could have been a witness to something and people are calling you a snitch. And it's like, instead of going back and forth with this person, you're taking a different approach. This person could have expected you to seek revenge or retaliate or to even speak on it. And I feel like you've been really silent about it, making really silent moves as well. I feel like you're using that pain as your power. I am picking up on transmuting. I'm picking up on you being an alchemist, you could be someone that is really connected to the Shaolin master energy as well. Dragons, pray mantis, I got the yin and yang energy here, mala beads. Let's read this card. All right, Shaolin master. Make sure you hit that like button. Slow and steady. Breathe and flow. Take a gentler approach. Wow. Okay. The Shaolin Masters cause forth the ninja within. Shaolin medicine is about learning to adapt to a situation and to tap into the energy running through your body and preserve it in order to release it at the right moment. It also teaches subtlety because when you're too forceful... You use too much energy. And that may not be supportive of what you're working on. The Shaolin master, like a monk, has respect for all things. He is disciplined and guided by his art. And will never use it to impress the foolish or to appear stronger than someone 
who is threatening him. You too are being invited to remain graceful in your movement, choices, and actions. You're being guided to flow like water, blow like the air, and connect to your purest intentions. Don't feel you need to rush ahead. A gentler approach will be more fruitful and rewarding. Move with subtlety, grace, and reach high, but also ask yourself, how can you move with the flow of life rather than pushing against it? Do you have the capacity to refocus? To refocus your gaze at this time, can you slow down? Or take more time to soften and breathe as you move forward? All of this will be incredibly beneficial for what happens next. So somebody definitely messed up.